Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Robin. Hello! This video is going to be my number three of Color In With Me Weird and Wonderful Flowers. So excited. I need to do a shout out. That's why I'm so excited. I've inspired three people to go and get uh, magic markers themselves to get their creativity on. So I feel extremely, extremely special that I have helped someone somewhere in the world. So big shout out to Lydia in East London. Hi Lydia! And then Natasha from George and Casey all the way from Scotland. I'll pop up their little messages on the screen now for you. And then, um, what was I going to say? Yes, so I'll be doing, sorry, I had to look down at what I, my list of what I had to say because I tend to get so excited that I forget what I want to say. So those shout outs go to Lydia, Natasha and Casey. Um, and then this video we based on a little bit of tips and tricks um, based on the questions that they did ask me um, and a little found that I made while I was in bed this weekend as well doing some drawings and um, coloring in. I was in bed this whole weekend because I got bitten by my dog. It was an accident. I, all three of them got into a fight and I tried to separate the lot and when I did my leg was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So two stitches later and a very, very swollen cough. I was in bed catching up with all my, with my weird flowers. <laughs> um, and in the process, when I did that, I created a new flower, which you'll see at the end of the video. And I asked my peeps on Facebook what color I should choose. And Jeff from PE, hi Jeff. He chose turquoise, uh, well turquoise. I didn't have turquoise because with the magic markers, you are limited on color. So I asked for a different one. So we were now going to go with... <laughs> Baby blue, dark blue, and pink on the last drawing. So keep on watching to see there. And then I'll be just holding my phone and then going through the book for tips. So if it's a bit wonky, I do apologize in advance. Um, my selfie stick is still in recovery after it was broken the other day. <laughs> so just bear with me with the quality of this video. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Let's get started. Okay guys, we're back. I just wanted to show you, you'll probably notice this one from a previous video, the difference in color when you want a more vibrant one, you need to layer. When you layer, you need to allow enough drying time between each coat uh, for better results. As you can see here, these four petals are a second coat. This over here is the first coat. So you can really build the color up by allowing enough drying time between each. I've actually left a lot of drying time between each color because I tend to go on to the next one and then the next day go back. But you'll be able to feel on the paper um, if it's completely dry. Um, but I would recommend giving it enough drying time if you want to build the color. I'll just show you one that I did before way back in the day this one is built up probably about of three colors so i let them dry each well i would do a drawing let them dry do another one let that dry and so on and so forth then come back to this one the first one then build on the color and then you can actually start shading in as well if you want to just give little highlights and details on that so yeah as well i've done a few uh, another tip as well, you can see the black is quite vibrant. I do not use the black of the actual marker to do any of my outlines. This is the black. Uh, because it dries with a purple pigment, uh, it doesn't really work for outlines whatsoever. For my outlines, I use a permanent marker. I'll show you now what it looks like. This is the Artline 90. Um... I also like this tip. I actually just use the corner of this tip when I do all my drawings. You'll actually see in the second video uh, that I've posted me drawing with this for you to see how it performs. But you can see already how vibrant that black is. But just keep in mind that if you're going to be using this, it is not part of the Magic Marker range. Therefore, when you do use the white, it is not going to lift any color whatsoever. This is the white. So it won't lift whatsoever. So let's go to another one. I'm just going to show you another example about building the color. This was also in one of my other videos, the video number two. This is the first coat. See, here's the difference between the black marker of the magic markers versus the outline of the flower from the permanent marker. This over here is all one coat. And over here I've done a demonstration. This is two coats of the purple and the pink. One coat, two coats. If you 
if you are building the color, I don't know if you can see, let me try and go in closer. If you try and build on the color and it's still wet, it lands up making this type of like boiler keys. It almost like damages the paper. So when you are coloring in, I don't use the tip of the marker when I color. So that being the tip, I hold the marker to an angle and hold it as light as I can and then I will color. So I'm just trying to look what I'm doing and using it. So I will hold the pen to an angle and color. If you don't want to use this method with the lines, you can do circular motion. I do find, however, when you do this, because you're repeating on the same spot over and over and over again, it tends to damage the page. And the pages that I've been using with the Cokies, that it will also be a tip for you guys that I feel really does work the best, is an old book and sketch paper. If you're going to be using normal printing paper, it is going to make the page warp. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using just normal paper. Also, if you're going to be doing this black detail and you color another color straight after it, the two colors will bleed into each other. So it's also important that if you're going to be using the black for detail and going over it with another color to allow it to dry properly. Another thing with building color and then putting the white to it, which I've noticed, let me just quickly get to that page, is that the pigment of where the white is starts getting a bit tinted by the color underneath it. I'll show you here. This was also in video number two. Because I did the green background and the layering, this is about three coats of the green and the red. When I took the white marker and went over to make the detail, as you can see here, it's very pigmented in yellow. This is because the color has been sitting for so long um, that it's got a bit of a tinge. But if you go over it again, with the white you will see that it will show up very nicely in this so let's just go over this so you can see so this is the white and then you sort of do a second coat over i'm going to just stop so you can see the difference and you see straight away it's lifted a bit better oopsie i went over my green a bit there then yes yeah, so then you can just go over it twice the reason as well why I also like to boil my colors and wait before I do the white, even if you're doing the white double, you're going to be doing the colors double anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, if you put the cokey straight away on and then you use the white directly on top of that wet, it bleeds into the other color. Um, let me quickly see. I'll quickly just show you now as well. So where before, it's nice, neat lines. Uh, let me just get it to focus. Where it's nice, neat lines. See, it's nice and neat. Completely straight. If I were to do that now with the pen, let me actually take the green, okay? If I were to take the color and color in my picture, color, 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 I'm busy coloring in a leaf. There we go. All the way. And then take the white to it. I'll show you now what happens. So here's the white. Oh, that white was a bit dry. It starts bleeding in. See how it starts drawing down. Let me see if I can't get this thing to focus. Focus. There we go. Can you see? It almost looks static. Static. It's not a clean finish. See, static. Look at the S where it bends. It's like little fibers bleeding. And hey, if you want that effect, go for it. If that's the kind of effect you want, I prefer the neater lines. And you can see there's a big difference between that and this. Big difference. Big, big, big difference. I just want to show you a picture as well that I drew over the weekend that's got the black. Because my marker ran out, my permanent marker to carry on, and I was just, you know, bored in bed. This is what the black will show up if you had to use this outline. See, it's got a purple tinge to it. So it is not the best color to be using for your outlines but if you like it i mean if you like what it looks like yeah by all means go ahead and you can do that but if you want a more pigmented you go with the black this is the new flower that i did so that dark color oh no that's not that <gasps> that dark color 
versus that, you can see that's a big, big, big difference between the two colors. So basically to build color, you need one, two, or three coats, depending on how you want to do it. If you want to do like a shading effect, use one. If you want to build the color so it's more saturated, like more colorful, you can do two to three. If you're going to be building your colors and you're going to be using the white, expect for a little bit of the pigment to be discolored. But you can go over that again with the white to really make it pop. If you want your white lines to be neater, wait for your colors to be completely dry. I would recommend actually the very next day to rather do the white then, unless you like the effect. So those are some tips and tricks. And now I'm going to get back to coloring of my new little blomaki, my flower. And thank you to Je Oh, that was actually the one that I did in the last video. I couldn't finish it because my cookie ran out. So sorry, this is the last. This is the one that Jeff... I got other uh, got other suggestions as well from other people, but because Jeff was the first one to get the comment through, I was like, you know, I pick you, and also because he gave three colors that I actually did have in mind for this so as well. So great minds think alike. So I'm gonna get going and drawing onto this. This will be in Fosmo. Enjoy, guys. I hope my tips and tricks have helped, and thank you for watching.